everyone welcome back to my channel and to another memory plan with me video this week we are planning out the week of january 3rd through to january 9th for some reason i, I almost said january 13th who knows it's one of those things every time i sit down to do a voiceover words don't work my brain doesn't know how to function it's it's great um, but this week we are using this beautiful kit from SPC or Scribble Prince Co. It is a mystery kit. I cannot for the life of me recall which mystery kit it was, but if you look closely as I'm showing you the kit on the very first page, it will actually tell you what month or what mystery sub it was. And then I am also using this, I don't know, I would call it like a seafoam green um, wiggle from SPC. I bought it a while back or maybe it came with a mystery. I honestly don't know but when I got it I was like you know what this would look really cool with this particular kit because the details in the kit you've got these like washed out blues. You've got like a minty sort of I guess seafoam green color and I thought that the foil would bring those tones out really nicely and then I was just showing you there that I purchased some quote box overlays or some quote boxes, I guess, uh, from Celebo Sticker Co. Also in that same sort of minty seafoam green color, just for the purposes of bringing them into this particular spread. I know I've said it before in other videos, but this year, 2022, I'm trying to be a bit more, not strategic, but I'm trying to be a bit more thought out in my processes so when it comes to like planning out my weekly spreads I'm looking at what I've got versus what I need I'm trying to use up the kits that I have when I'm purchasing foils I'm purchasing foil bundles that are for the purpose of a particular kit um, you know so for example if I'm doing like a valentine's spread and it's red if I'm using foil with that kit I will go and find a red foil bundle and purchase it with the intent of using it for that spread. Um, and I'm just, as a whole, trying to use up what I have because I have so much stuff um, and I'm just, I'm not using it. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more, I guess, resourceful as well um, and a bit more intentional with how I plan. So that was a really long-winded way of saying that I'm using a fun foil. <laughs> for this spread. Now you will see shortly, or maybe you won't, I can't remember how much of, I of it I cut out, but basically when I was putting down the bottom washi overlays, I did do them crooked. And then I tried to lift them and redo them with my undo and it was fine. But then I noticed something else, so I lifted it again. And I think once you've lifted it once, that's probably like a maximum. So after I lifted it the second time, the like clear part of the sticker was like bubbled and it wasn't flattening and it just, it looked awful, but I did have a backup like washi sheet. So I ended up removing the originally laid down washi overlays and replacing them. But it's funny because even though I did that, I'm now looking at my spread and I can still see that there's a couple of bubbles in it. So I don't know, the undo does mess with your stickers. So be mindful of that if you are using it to lift up your stickers and I guess move things around. But it definitely looks a whole lot better than it did. It is a little bit frustrating because it means that I had a whole washi sheet that I could have then used because I do have a bunch of the foil left at the end of this spread, meaning I could have used it for another kit um, or another spread rather. Um, but I ended up wasting the washi as a result so that was annoying but it is what it is the spread oh you guys I was a little bit cautious about using this spread like I knew a long long time ago that this was going to be the spread that I used or the kit that I used for the second week of January mostly because it was beachy summery vibes without being too beachy or too summery it was kind of still like a stay at home staycation mini vacay cozy summer kit if that makes sense and you will see there there's like a lounge um a lounge setting there um there is like a, a fashion shot where you will see like some really cute summer clothes you would have just seen that I laid down that board game box 
absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I just thought it was a really pretty kit. And the tones and the colors of the kit are something that I wouldn't normally use. Like I feel like the, the palette or the colorway was almost winterish. Um, I don't know, maybe that's why I was drawn to it because it was different to the normal summer kits. But yeah, when it came to actually using it and I looked at the colors, I was like, oh my God, like, is it going to be pale? Is it going to be washed out? How do I feel about green? I didn't know how I felt about the shade of pink with the shade of green and blue. And I just, I second guessed myself. But when I look back on the spread now and as I'm laying it out on camera, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so, so happy with it. And I think it works perfectly. I mean, it's very, it's a very stark contrast to the week before with my New Year's spread. And it's also very, very different to the spread that I do after this. But I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I chose this kit. Love, 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 love. Anyway, I feel like that was an incredibly long intro. So let's go through a couple of basics. So like I said, the kit is from SPC. Um, the foil bundle is from SPC with the exception of the quote overlay that I use in the top left. Um, any of the foiled scripts that you see or any of the foiled icons are from the wiggle. And again, I don't know what it is. I'm actually kind of sad that SPC reformatted their foil bundles because there's something about using the rounded foil icons and bringing them into a kit that ties the foil together for me. Like there's just something about putting the bottom washi on, putting the overlays on and all the bougie boxes and then bringing in those foiled icons because it almost, it's almost like it brings like a big chunk of that foil color into the spread. And now with the new format, the icons are really small, so they're not as obvious. And I don't know how I feel about that. So I might need to do a bit of a stock up on some of the old formats while they're available. Um, and then obviously with the icons and character stickers, I will go through those as we jump into the day by day. You will see that I'm starting my side by here. So again, I tried to get a little bit creative. I see so many people do these beautiful like decorative header scenes at the top of their spreads. And I have no idea how to do that. And I was also like, hmm, I don't have any like minty or foamy like foil accents. So I opted to use some deco from the kit. And then what I'm going to go back and do is I think I'll put in a silver foiled script because that's the closest to the seafoam green, I guess. And I don't really want to go and put in like a black and white script because I feel like that might be a little bit too dark for the spread. Um, and then I'll put some of the little twinkles that came with the foil bundle there just to, I guess, highlight it a little bit. As of right now, you will see that I'm doing my sidebar. I put down the quote box and then I realized that I probably shouldn't have laid out my full boxes the way that I did because I now had the two full boxes side by side and I really didn't like how that looked. So I will go ahead and fix that in just a minute, but I don't remember if I do that on camera or not, but it does get rectified. <laughs> it makes it look so much better. <laughs> um, and then as per usual, my sidebar is just the usual stuff. It has my socials for the week. So I put down my sticker thief. No, I didn't use sticker thief. See, I just, as a habit, I go to say that. Um, I actually used a Planner Goddess Studio YouTube icon sticker this week and I used an Instagram icon from the foil bundle. And then here you will see I'm just laying down the toolbox. The girl is absolutely beautiful. I love her. Um, I did have to trim off a little bit of her toes, so apologies. But she did fit nicely. And then what I ended up doing is because I didn't have any full box, uh, sorry, tall box overlays that are now a thing at SPC, I actually ended up using the like scrap pieces from the washi sheet and I put them at the top and the bottom to give her a little bit of a sparkle as well. But as usual, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's go ahead and jump into the day by day plans. So starting with Monday, the first thing that I marked was coffee Monday, but I did dull it down a little bit this week because I wasn't at work. So I've just used a little things label and an icon from the kit to mark that. I then had a lazy day on the couch. So when I say I had a lazy day on the couch, it was literally getting up to go to the bathroom, make coffee, maybe changing the channel, that sort of stuff. But otherwise I was glued to the couch. Um, and I've just used the little deco piece from the kit to mark that. I did also play with and organize some of my stickers. So I've marked that in with a planner face icon. I did do some washing. So I used a foil icon from the bundle or the foil bundle to mark that. 
And then that night we had some pasta for dinner. So I've used a foiled circular icon for that uh, from the kit, from the foil bundle rather. And then that evening we watched Insidious 2. And I've just used a Stella Bow icon laid over one of the like layering pieces from the kit to mark that in. On Tuesday, I did sleep half the day, which usually means I slept until like 11, 11.30. And I've marked that in with an Olive Planico character sticker. I then had some coffee when I woke up. And then we spent the day binge watching Naked and Afraid XL, which is basically like the extra large version of the challenge. So I think some people had been there or were doing a 60 day challenge. Some were doing 30, so on and so forth. Um, I got obsessed with Naked and Afraid when we were on our honeymoon because the time zones and stuff, I couldn't sleep most of the time. And Naked and Afraid was the show that was always on. So I got addicted and we were looking for something to watch on this day. And we saw that and we're like, yep, let's do it. And we literally watched the whole thing in one day. Um, and I've just marked that with a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji couple. I did film this day. I've used an icon from the foil bundle to mark that. And then my husband thought he was super cute and he made pizza for dinner, but he made my one with gold leaf. So he went to the shop and bought like those gold leaf sprinkles and put it on my pizza. It was the cutest thing. I mean, it doesn't change the taste or anything. It looked very luxe, but I just thought it was cute. So I marked that in my planner with a little um, layering star piece from the kit and an icon from the kit. And then we obviously just continued to watch Naked and Afraid. So again, I've just reiterated that using an icon from the foil bundle and marking chill and TV time. Wednesday, I did wake up and I did a bit of a film session. So I filmed a plan with me and a haul video. So I've used an icon from the wiggle to mark that. I then also edited some of those videos. So I've used yet another icon from the bundle to mark that in. And then when I was done with that, I came back downstairs and I obviously decluttered and put my leftovers away um, and it did a bit more organizing and I've just marked that with a planner sticker that I got from a freebie from Stella Bow Sticker Co. It was also payday this day so I've marked that in with a Doodles Do character sticker and the script from The Wiggle. I did some more laundry this day so I've used a script from The Wiggle and a laundry icon from the kit and then we did have some pasta leftovers for dinner. And then we watched Insidious 3 that night and I've used an icon from the Wiggle over a layering piece. And I've been using them as popcorn and I'm confused because I kind of think that now that it's a bin, but then there's also a bin icon in the Wiggle format that's not the one that I use. So I don't actually know whether it's meant to be a secondary trash can or a different formatted trash can or whether it's meant to be a popcorn sticker. So if you know, let me know. Um, but that's how I marked watching Insidious 3 on Wednesday evening. On Thursday, the first thing that I've marked is waking up and having a cup of coffee. So I've used an icon from the kit to mark that. Or sorry, a, a foiled icon from the wiggle to mark that. I did pull some more stickers this day and I've just marked that with a sticker. I was going to say sticker thief. With a planner face icon. Um, I did have a hair wash and shave day. So a bit of a self-care shower on this day. And I've marked that in with a Planet Goddess Studio character sticker. And then that afternoon, I watched some YouTube, drank some more coffee. Um, so I just marked that with a coffee cup from the Wiggle. And then we did have some chill time on the couch in front of the TV before we started watching Fast and Furious 9. So I've marked the chill time with an icon from the Wiggle. And then I've used another Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji couple to mark watching Fast 9. Friday, I've marked sleeping in. So I've just used a layering, like the moon layer from the kit and a sleep in script from the wiggle to mark that. I'm laying some stuff down now, but I realized that I actually messed up the order. So you will see that I lay it all down and then I kind of have a bit of a like bazinga moment and go, oops, that's wrong. So I peel everything up and fix it all. Um... But I did do some filming on that day and I've just used a camera icon from the Wiggle to mark that in. And then once again, I did pull some more stickers. So I've just marked that in with a what looks like Aura Estelle planner icon from the kit. This particular night we had Chinese for dinner. So I've used an icon from the Wiggle to mark that. 
and we watched the Insidious Last Key or like it's the last chapter of Insidious until I researched and found out that another one is due out I think maybe this year later in the year which I'm excited for because they were really good movies um but I marked the watching of Insidious in with a layering piece and Celebo popcorn bucket and I did upload a plan with me as I said I think I said I don't know sometimes I talk too fast and my like I can't keep up with my own self but um, I did upload and I've just marked that in with a flat lay sticker from Celebo. I think I was supposed to put an upload sticker over that because usually I layer an upload script over my flat lays but it looks as though I didn't do that in this instance. Maybe again because I wasn't sure whether I was going to use a black script or like a silver script and I still haven't fixed it so who knows. I've still also noticed that I haven't realized my error from Friday morning but we'll get there. Um, Saturday, so a weekend, the first thing that I marked was that I had a headache. So I've used a little Coffee Monsters Co emoji to mark that. And then I did film some more videos this day. So I've used a camera icon from Stella Bo Sticker Co to mark that in. You will see I've now switched the days around to make them correct. <laughs> I did play some Dead by Daylight this day, which is very out of the ordinary for me. Because usually when we play games, it's usually on a Wednesday night. But this day I played Dead by Daylight during the day. So that was unusual, but I marked that in with a heart icon from the wiggle. Once that was done, I did come downstairs and I had a bit of a YouTube binge. So I've marked that in with a YouTube button from the wiggle. And then we had some, well, yes, I had Chinese leftovers for dinner. So I've used a little like Chinese box icon from the wiggle to mark that. And then I did upload another plan with me this night. This was when I was like trying to upload all of my like the last few videos of 2021. So I was just trying to get them up. Um, so I've marked uploading with an icon from the kit. And then we did watch Scream 3 that night. And I've just used a deco piece from the kit to mark that. And then I realized after the fact that the deco piece that I used is actually identical to the full box that I used that day. So that's fun. I don't know if I'm going to change it. I might, I may not. We'll see how much it bothers me over the coming weeks, but I'm looking at it now and it's triggering me a little bit but not enough for me to try and mess around with undo and fix it as of right now anyway and then last but not least we jump over to Sunday so on Sunday the first thing that I did was mark in that I slept all morning so I've used a face mask from Celebo sticker code to mark that I pulled some more stickers so I've used a bow icon from the wiggle to mark that and then I did do some filming and editing so I've marked filming with an icon from the kit and editing with a circular icon from the wiggle. I did some more laundry this day so I've just used a deco piece from the kit to mark that and then once again I did upload so I've marked that in with a laptop sticker from the wiggle over the top of like a circular layering piece and then the last thing that I marked for Sunday which I think is a completely different color I think the switch that I've put down is actually orange but it's kind of that like fleshy peachy skin color type pink slash orange so I don't know because I'm looking at it now and it kind of doesn't really fit but then like if you look at it from a distance it works so I don't know but um, that was to mark that we finished off the evening playing Mario Party which is always lots of fun um, but that's I was gonna say that's pretty much it for the week but that is it for the week <laughs> so I'm just putting on those final touches and then we will, of course, do a zoom out. I will show you guys the spread and then I will come back to you once it's all filled in. We'll do a wiggle. I'll show you through the leftovers, all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this spread turned out. Now, I did want to ask a quick question. Weekend banners, who is still using them? Who is not? And why for both sides? The reason that I ask is because I've found that the last two spreads that I've done in this planner, I've not used the weekend banners. Whereas in 2021, I used to try my hardest to use the weekend banners. And I don't know whether it's because I've used such beautiful bottom washi that I didn't want to put the weekend sticker over the top of the washi or over, over the top of the overlays that I've used or what it is. But I haven't been using my weekend banners and I don't know whether I should add them in. I don't know whether I should keep using them or how I feel about them. So let me know your thoughts below. I guess when we zoom out and have a look at this spread as a whole, 
let me know if you think it would look better or more finished with a weekend banner or if it is okay as is. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone knows that Saturday and Sunday is the weekend by default. I mean, unless, of course, you work a roster where, you know, the middle of the week is your weekend, I guess you could mark it differently then. But when someone refers to a weekend, it's generally referring to a Saturday and a Sunday. So in my mind, I kind of see it as I know that Saturday and Sunday is the weekend for me. Do I really need to mark it? Maybe I do. Maybe throughout the year, different spreads I will use the weekend banners. I don't know. But that was a really big ramble. But let me know your thoughts below. As you will see right now, I'm just taking you through the leftovers. As always, being a mystery kit, I had quite a few leftovers. Um, there's not quite enough full boxes for another spread. So if I was to use this kit again, I would have to find some extra boxes. But in terms of functional items, there is always more than enough to do multiple spreads. And I guess if you're someone who uses a smaller planner, um, you could use the leftover boxes that way. Um, but that is pretty much it. I'm going to do a little wiggle for you here. It's kind of glary because the light was really bad and I put my ring light on and I'm still trying to figure out how to work my ring light. But you get the general idea and I think it worked out really, really well. I think the color works really nicely and I'm hoping to be a little bit more bold with my foil choices this year. So I do have a spread coming up very soon that features a really, really fun foil. So stay tuned for that. Um, but that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already and you did like this video and you want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing uh, so that you can keep up to date with all of my videos and I will see you all for the next one. Bye for now.